big things come in small packages. This is a battery monitor and it does some pretty cool stuff. Let's dive in and show you exactly what it does. If you're an off-roader like me and you got toys that sit sometimes, you know, like me, I have a bunch of stuff. I can't ride it all at once. It sits. What if you have an RV? You know, it's going to sit a few months out of the year at the very minimum. If you have a lawnmower, it sits through the winter sometimes. And a lot of you, you may not have a battery tender plugged in all the time. You may not want one plugged in all the time. This little guy right here, I got one on, on this machine because this machine does most of the sitting around here. So with this thing, I can monitor the battery and do all kinds of cool stuff. And we're going to dive in and show you how to do that. I'm going to show you how to install it real quick on a battery that's out in the open. And then we're going to dive in and get to the one that we have on here and show you how it works in the app. So we're going to use our test battery. We have these two test batteries. That's what we test electrical stuff with when it comes back faulty or something or sound bars or anything we wanted to test we use these batteries so this is just easy to show you out in the open of how you can install it you're going to locate the battery on your vehicle doesn't matter any vehicle with a battery this is going to work 12 volt battery all you do is get your positive lead put it on your positive crank it down get your negative put it on your negative and crank it down and then this actually comes with some sticky tape you could stick it right to your battery you could clean these wires up real nice and it will look good and you'll notice it has a blue flashing light right there just flash there we go blue flashing light that's letting you know that it is connected, it is communicating. It's communicating with my phone. Not this one because it's not hooked up. But the other one will is. So let's get into uh, showing you guys what it'll do. Another thing I wanted to point out, if you're a mechanic, that thing is super affordable. If you wanted a, just a quick little test tool to carry around with you, you could buy some alligator clips, hardware store, Amazon, eBay, wherever. Get some alligator clips, put those on there, and then use that thing as a tool in your toolbox. It'd be super functional. Trust me, we're going to get into showing you all that. Once you're near your vehicle, you can open up your app on your phone, and it's going to come up here. And then it's going to show you your battery health, your battery voltage, your temperature. So it's telling me at 68.0 degrees Fahrenheit in here, which um, that seems to be on par because that's what we have that furnace set at and it just got done running. So we have that set to 68 or 67, don't we? Something like that. So this, and it just kicked on again. So this temperature seems to be on par and this thing hasn't left this building. So it's, it's room temperature. It's showing the voltage is 12.57 volts. I can't really verify that because I don't have a thing with me, but it seems to be correct. And it says 90% battery okay. Now, it does have a find a car function. Check this out, guys. I can move towards my car. It says 1920 feet, but I'm assuming that's because I'm in the building, so the satellites are a little off because I'm like right here by it. So I don't know. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's probably off because of the building. Maybe we'll try it outside, but it's cold out there. I ain't going out there. I'm sorry, but this is close enough if you ask me. Now it has tips. I don't really know what the tips and stuff is, but it also has settings. And you can go in and you can set your power limit, your power alarm limit. I got mine set to 80 and then again at 60. So this is gonna tell you, hey, hey big dummy, your battery's getting low, you better come out and start me. Or whatever you may, you know. You can even put this thing on your generator. That's probably a good idea. I should get one put on that generator. Because I, I do go out and start that thing. That battery is like eight years old. <laughs> so, um, 
you can do a firmware update, unit currency. I got mine in Imperial US. US. Uh, abnormal cranking. So every time you crank your machine, it's going to check to see if there's something wrong with your battery or maybe your starter. Um, and it will alert you if it sees any kind of something messed up. Also, daily power notification. Transmit one time every nine hours. Now, you can change that. You can change it to six hours. You could even do 24 hours. 24 hours is what I'm going to set mine to. I didn't even know it was on nine. Um, but nine hours, really don't need it. I mean, but everybody's different. So if we click abnormal cranking, transmit one time every nine hours. So you could do that, you know, more frequently. I don't know why they exactly got settings for that because it every time you crank your car crank your car or whatever it senses that so i don't know that's that's a little odd to me but and then you can go to the about it tells you everything app version and all that stuff but we go back to the battery we can do a charging test okay so you start your car up and then it's going to show you on here the charging voltage and idle speed it's going to tell you charging voltage and high rpm it's going to tell you the ripple voltage it's going to tell you everything and you can click start testing which we're not charging so it's not going to do anything for us but it's going to give you all of that data that you you need to know and then you can go back to cranking test again it tells you the cranking um we could do that i guess we could probably do that but I don't really want to start that thing up in here. Just know that it does work. We've already tested it. It works pretty good. Um, and this little this little box, dude. This little box is pretty pretty wicked, and you can put it anywhere. You can make them wires longer and stick it anywhere. But it it has to be sort of out in the open so it can connect to your phone and tell you your GPS location and all that stuff. So you don't want to hide it too much. Just under the hood should be fine. Just somewhere in there it should be fine. Top of the battery, if you can, is probably the best place. So you can go back here. And again, tells us 90%. Guys, this little box, technology, technology is phenomenal these days. Phenomenal. I can't believe what they put in this little box. Now I'm gonna go over here and grab this one. And I'm gonna show you exactly how big this little thing is. Here's my finger. It's shallower than my finger. One little circuit board in there. One little tiny circuit board. Here's my thumb for comparison, okay? This little sucker packs a punch. Now I'm going to have a link down below in the video description just to let you guys know you click that link I don't get paid any kind of reimbursement from that link. Company sent me these out and asked me to test them and do a video on them and I, I agreed to it. So the link down below I'm not getting paid for it. The only thing I got paid was, was this cool little thing. I think it's neat. It's, this one's going in my toolbox right here. The other one can stay on that machine over there. And this one's going in my toolbox, right in my electrical box. Check out this electrical box. It's going to go right like that. So that one is a tool for me that I will use and utilize as a technician, as, as somebody who works on things. And then, you know, I'll let it maintain my battery voltage on the other one and we can run tests if we ever need to it'll be pretty it's a pretty cool little gadget i ain't gonna lie in the meantime guys if you like what we do here check out our links down below check out our website if i can ask you to hit that like share and subscribe button smash that subscribe button beat on that thing boom leave us a comment down below if you got one of these i want to hear your thoughts how's it worked for you we haven't had it very long at all a couple weeks about three weeks i think We've had it playing with it and stuff, and it seems to be a pretty neat little device, and 
does exactly what it says it's going to do. And, you know, I get a lot of um, emails and, and messages about people, hey, man, especially with the, the, the off-road vehicles, being out in the cold and stuff, you let them sit for weeks at a time, you go out to start it and the battery's dead. And people ask me, why does that happen? There's a lot of reasons why that happens. Some of these machines have a built-in GPS locator unit. It's an anti-theft device. That thing runs and updates like every few seconds. So that pulls down the battery quite a bit. And then being outside in the cold, that amplifies that by like times 10. So that, that's mostly the reason why your battery's dead or you have a faulty battery or you have something draining it. But nine times out of 10, it's a bad battery or combination of both with the GPS unit. Now that thing there, it only draws a few milliamps. So yes, is it gonna draw power? Yes, but it's not really that noticeable. Plus it's gonna notify you if it does get down below a certain percentage and you can go out and throw a charger on it or start it. Cause I know a lot of you have barns and stuff that you don't have power in. You can't really put battery tenders on. So that thing right there is gonna remind you, cause let's face it, I let all my machines sit and I don't always think about starting them all, do I Ronnie? I don't always think about starting them all. So this thing, it's gonna go ding and I'm gonna go, oh yeah, we gotta go start that. So. There we go. But yeah, guys, if you like what we do, check out our website, www.rngperformance.net. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook, capital R, capital N, capital G on Facebook. Leave us a comment down below, and we'll see you in the next one.